Hi, my name is Boyd McGeeky. I'm part of the EC2 Spot Instances team. This is the third video in a three video series about how to leverage Amazon EC2 Spot Instances alongside Amazon EMR for your big data clusters. In the first video, we took you through the value proposition of using Spot with Amazon EMR clusters. In the second video, we focused in on how to configure your EMR cluster to follow Spot best practices in a generic sense. Uh, and in this video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into how to think about configuring your EMR cluster for best practices, whether you're running a short-lived uh, or a long-running EMR cluster. So let's jump into the console. First thing I'm going to do is click on Create a Cluster. If you've watched the previous video, you're going to have seen this before. Uh, just like the last video, we're going to go straight into the advanced options again. Don't be worried, uh, just because they're advanced doesn't necessarily mean they're complicated. It's what brings the superpowers to spot. We're not gonna focus on uh, how to configure the application. Uh, Amazon EMR certainly supports a lot of different applications uh, for your big data workloads. We're gonna focus in on configuring the compute component. Uh, again, the most important thing to do is to use instance fleets. So I'm gonna click on that, uh, and again, uh, we very much recommend to select all of the subnets that you'd be able to run your uh, EMR cluster in. That enables EMR to select the best availability zone to deploy your spot instances. In the last video, I skipped over both master and core nodes and focused in uh, only on the task node configuration. And that's because it doesn't really matter whether it's a short or long-lived cluster. The best way to configure your task instances is to provide multiple different instance types and use spot. However, how to think about the master or the core? Well, let's begin with the master. The master is what controls everything inside your EMR cluster. And so in most cases, regardless of whether it's a short or long-lived cluster, we don't recommend running the master on spot because if that goes away, uh, your whole EMR cluster is, is gonna stop doing work uh, on your behalf. So be aware if you do choose to run the master on spot, I hope it's a very short-lived cluster. Uh, and obviously you must be aware that if that goes away, uh, you should terminate the rest of your EMR instances as well. Core nodes is a little bit different. Core nodes is where customers will often put their, their data, uh, their HDFS files when they're running EMR clusters. So you can imagine if it's a short-lived cluster, you could actually run these data nodes on spot. However, just like the master node, if you do lose a core node, your EMR cluster is gonna to have to stop doing processing while it reshuffles that data. So uh, if it's a short-lived cluster and we're talking about maybe living for you know, two, four, or six hours, uh, we do see a lot of customers successfully running data nodes uh, on spot. Uh, again, you might choose to configure multiple different instance types to give EMR the flexibility to deploy in the place uh, that's gonna maximize your savings and minimize your interruptions. However, for a long-running cluster, we almost never recommend running the data nodes on spot. As I said, uh, if a data node is interrupted, a core node is taken off you, uh, you're gonna have to pause processing while that data is reshuffled and brought back up. And so that's the major difference when configuring an EMR cluster, is if it's a short-lived cluster, you could put your core nodes on spot. Uh, if not, if it's a long-running cluster, we definitely recommend reserved instances are on demand. One final point here. The best rate way to run your HDFS with Amazon EMR is actually use EMRFS. That's where they can put all of your data nodes, uh, all of your data processing power up in S3, uh, and now you don't need to worry about any data nodes being interrupted. Uh, at one point, you will still need to run one core node, even if you are using EMRFS, uh, and that's because of some uh, really nice functionality Amazon EMR offers uh, to ensure that even if an instance is interrupted, uh, you don't lose all of your work. And that's a wrap of our three-part series. Hopefully you now understand the value of using spot instances inside your Amazon EMR clusters, and you're confident in how to follow spot best practices when configuring your clusters to save up to 90%.